Hi there, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is dating and relationships are a continual training ground. Well, the one thing about dating anybody these days is it comes with a lot of homework. There's a lot of things you have to know and you have to pay attention to. But the best way to combat any drama in a relationship is to pay very close attention to the early red flags. And I'm talking early. Don't feel that you're being over judgmental. Just watch their body language. Watch their facial, how, how they talk to you, if their eye contact. Do they ghost you? If they ghost you or do anything like that on the first few dates, do not see them again. The more energy that you give to people who don't treat you well, the more you're going to receive back because you're allowing it to continue in your life. The way to understand how to deal with life lessons that are handed to you is not to repeat those lessons. And the way to do that is to sit down and look at what transpired. What was it that happened on that last few dates that just were not good, that you saw some flags happening, you saw something going on, but you sort of continued to see them because you thought, well, maybe I'm just being judgy. Maybe I'm just being too high maintenance about this. If your instincts are telling you something that may not be a safe situation, or you're feeling that there is a, a disconnect with maybe their emotional level, maybe there's something that they're not bringing to the forefront, you feel they're hiding something. Listen to those spidey senses because they will always steer you in the right direction. Most people ignore those things because they might be really attracted to that person they're sitting across from. Try not to get too sexually excited and committed to somebody too quickly because that will throw you off any any instincts because you're letting that rule and the minute that that comes in and that sexy lust is happening the common scent goes out the back door so please take your time and getting to know somebody and really paying close attention to those first few dates when you experience toxic behavior or negative situations in relationships and you're finding that this is happening you know two or three times to you you're not learning that lesson. You're not seeing that you are supposed to move on from allowing this behavior in your life. And that's why you're getting similar situations with a lot of people that you're dating or actually in a relationship with because you haven't done the homework to remove that problem. So you're repeating the negativity over and over again. And this is what is causing the training ground to be a lot more work for you. When you see something in a, in a bad situation, a bad date, or a bad relationship that you had in the past, and you sit down and you say to yourself, okay, you know, I paid a, played a bit of a part here. So what am I going to do moving forward? I'm going to pay very close attention to meeting somebody who has similar traits as to what I was attracted to in the past. You need to change your environment of where you meet people. You need to change the type of people you meet. And let's use that word type again. Do not have one. Go and meet people because of who they are, their personalities. Maybe if you're online dating, read their profile, try a different approach with different people. Get out of your comfort zone because if it's not working for you, how comfortable is that? It's not. So you wanna move on to a higher direction and a better direction with other people. Because if you feel, oh, it's just easier being around this type of a person and it's never working out for you, well, it's not easier. You're just repeating the inevitable of what's going to happen with drama and toxic behavior once again. So let's try and change this up so that you don't have to keep going through things. Because this is why people are frustrated with dating right now. They're either on the same sites and things aren't working they're not experiencing outside um, of the dating sites and just getting out and meeting people as much because everybody has the same excuse. There's no one out there. Nobody wants to meet. The more you talk to people in a 
day-to-day -day setting, the more chance you have to meet other people. It doesn't mean you're going to have a date with that particular person, but you might meet people through them. There might be situations that come down the road. If you're nice and pleasant and talk to people on a regular basis, you're always going to have the chance to meet more people. So if something isn't working for you, please don't repeat the scenario. It's really that simple. But what happens is we go to that place that's so familiar to us. But familiar, as I've said in numerous videos, is not always a good thing. Sometimes it's just a habit. It's just a place where you think you feel comfortable, but it's not that you are, you just know it better. You know that negativity more than you know a really good relationship. So you have to get out of that place and move on up into a different environment that brings you more happiness, brings you a potential partnership. Another thing I always suggest is have new boundaries with every new relationship. So let's say you get past the dating, things are going well, you decide, okay, let's give this relationship a chance. Have some boundaries that are, are going to be a little bit different from the ones you had in your past relationship because you learned some things from that one. So take those learned lessons and bring those boundaries into your new relationship. And if you do that with each time, you even with your, if you're just dating, have some new boundaries. And each time you do that, you will find that you're getting closer and closer to meeting the person you want to share your life with. But if you don't learn those tough lessons and, and be thankful for those tough lessons, because now it's leading you to a better place. I know it doesn't feel that way when you keep going through stuff, but you won't keep going through stuff if you change the pattern. So let's talk about dating right now. So let's just say you're in this sort of a situation where you're getting to the third date and then it fizzles, something changes. Sit down and analyze what similarities were there with the other person that you had three dates with and the other one. Because there's something probably going on that maybe, maybe you're feeling, oh, okay, we're getting to the third date, something's happening here, and then you maybe give a little bit more and maybe it scares them off. There could be that you get scared off. Sometimes you sabotage your own happiness. Really analyze and own your part. You know, was I maybe too assertive on that third date? Was I maybe too showing that, oh, I like them too much, and maybe I came across a little bit needy. Maybe I was too available. Maybe I had sex too early. These are all things you want to sit down and really think about because if you're doing the same thing and it's having the same results at the end of the day, you need to alter that. That is something you have to take care of. And be careful that you're also not addicted to drama because that can happen too. You can get excited about the fact that, oh, well, it's, you know, it's, it's not boring. It's, it's a little bit exciting. Well, is it exciting or is it a little bit toxic? These are things you have to pay close attention to as well. The sooner you learn any life lesson, the better your life starts to become. If you were to fail a college exam and you failed it three or four times, how is that going to work for you to be able to graduate from college? It's not. So you're going to put the work in, aren't you? You're going to put your energy in to improving what isn't working on that test. And this is what life is all about. It hands you lemons. It literally hands you lemons so that you can learn how to be a better person. Because the more you evolve to your higher self and understand and learn those lessons you have to go through is when you appreciate where you end up and you appreciate your partner, your career, everything that's happening in your life because you worked hard to get there. You also know how you got there, and that's super important. Forgive yourself for some of the choices you've made because those choices are still making you grow. They're still making you become the person you are. And so just keep becoming better and better and better, owning your stuff, taking, taking responsibility for some of those things that you have allowed in your life. Because when you do that, that you can appreciate why you did it and now why you have to move on.
So thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave any comments that you have and please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Take care. Bye.